Elise McCall is one of countless black Americans targeted with racist text messages like this one, telling them they'd been selected to pick cotton on a plantation the day after the U.S. election. This is truly disgusting and whoever's sending it out is vile. No one should ever, one, think to send that message or receive that message. It just made me sick to my stomach. The anonymous text sent across the country, some directly referencing Donald Trump. I am one of Donald Trump's associates and your cotton picking sessions are from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. It's been brought to my attention that people are receiving vile, racist text messages and emails. Louisiana's attorney general says some were sent using an encryption service in Poland, but... We have no way of knowing where the individual is who's actually sending the emails. Others came through Canadian app TextNow, the Waterloo, Ontario-based company, saying it quickly disabled the accounts and it's working with law enforcement. People are weaponizing uh, technology uh, in ways that are, again, exacerbating unresolved um, hurt. The Trump team says the messages have nothing to do with them. But the NAACP and other civil rights organizations say Trump's rhetoric has emboldened racist actors, his campaign filled with dehumanizing language. They're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. This former FBI officer says foreign interference may be to blame. This is just seems to be falling into a persistent pattern of misinformation operations directed by foreign governments into the United States. No matter the source, the messages have left so many deeply shaken. I am overwhelmed with anxiety and fear about how I'm going to help my children make sense of the world that they have to navigate as black children. The messages have been reported in at least 20 states with law enforcement agencies investigating. The FBI says it's aware and is in contact with the Justice Department. Ellen Morrow, CBC News. It's fake. It's a, it's a $3 bill. I got a 20 from Hawaii once. I was 15, working my ass off. Motherfucker had a Hawaii stamp or something on the back of it. I didn't get the count till later. He finessed me. This is a finesse. This is from the DNC. This is their lingo. They go slavery every time. Just like the dude. This, that's why this is a slave series. The Canadian, white, liberal said, you're going to wake up a slave. That's their line. That's their party line. They don't even, oh, you're going to wake up in Jim Crow. They skip past that. They always go straight to slavery. That's how you know it's them. They don't get, it's not nuanced at all. It's this, you know, that's all their reference is to blacks uh, not doing well with slavery. It's, 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 this is funny, man. To me, I know if I was 13 and I wasn't, a complete, uh, you know, uh, reprobate in my mind, a degenerate mentally, but definitely I didn't do anything. Fucked up to anyone. What's up, dog? Hey, <laughs> I was just thinking about you, man. Hey, hey this is uh, this is my German partner, man. Uh, what's your name one more time? Jacob. Jacob, German. That German What's Jacob, on, man. What's your name as well? Dino. That's Dino. right. Dino. Hey, man. Well, yeah, this episode's about. Uh, the uh, mass text messages that a bunch of black people got saying that they're going to have to report to slavery once Trump got in. And they're trying to blame it on Trump's people. But this is uh, this is from this is from them. This is a classic. It's the classic, uh, you know, where you where you're the where the phone calls coming from inside the house, you know, like the, the monsters inside. This ain't. This ain't from Trump's people, man. This is from. I'll fill you in. I'll fill you in, man. No, this is a uh, a bunch of black people got got these text messages saying they're gonna have to report to slavery, but they're trying to say that that came from the Republicans, like gloating or something. It's like, nah, man. They Trump's team already won. They don't need to. They, there's no benefit to doing that. It's only a benefit if if, it, if you're on. If you're a troll, you know, you want to rage bait. You want to rage bait. Yeah. And who lost? The left. The left. Okay. So you're saying the left is not rage baiting. That's exactly right. what I'm saying. And, and and they always go slavery. It's always something to do with slavery. It's, always. it's never because there was stuff after slavery, like Jim Crow, where black people had this, white people. They yeah. skipped that and they go straight to slavery. That's how I know it's them. It's like 
how many yeah. chapters like you want to like that's like, right that's right you're, missing, like, you're missing all <laughs> yes, sir, hey jacob said it best and he's german hey. they had the worst uh nigga of all time uh yeah sit yeah, down man yeah, yeah. they had uh you know adolf and he right, so, you're right and i'm not to say that has anything to do with you no. i'm not saying that so you know i'm, I'm not good i'm half german anyway you, so, he's half german so I'm, I'm half on that half on that communist side because okay. like and half on the german side like on on a like ancestral level right because i'm i'm not saying i'm right i'm not saying that i'm like i'm i would say i'm further left than i'm right okay well, you know which makes sense because if you're young when you're young you it's what was this it's not you're not you're not being conservative you're not living a conservative life you're you're out there in the world mixing it up you don't yeah. want to because the idea of being a conservative is putting up walls and, and having distance and no fun that's what it is in politics but in real life you're not out here wilding out and acting crazy that's oh. concern that's also conservative yeah. Not, I'm not talking about the party. I don't belong to any party. Yeah, yeah, right. It's like, it's like, pol politic parties like only benefit like if you are in a certain situation that you need like help with. So like right. you're either right or left depending on your situation in life, kind of. And also, I I agree with that. But also, if you need some kind of friend group and some somebody to belong to, like we were talking okay. about the other day, not being afraid of being out on your own and having yeah. your own thoughts but you you need to socially agree with with or to feel like hey man i want people to know that i'm on the right side there's a term they say right side of history yeah. and it's like who you know who's to say yeah. you're you're what's, what's the right side man? like switch sides every every now and then it's like every hundred years it's like you the right is the other left kind of you know what i mean i know it's exactly like, what you mean it, it, it changes and it's like people think like oh it's like yeah you don't just yeah. keep going right in life you make lefts too if yeah. you keep going right like you I end up say, sorry, sorry, no no like, you go if i were to say like oh my life gonna be awesome for the rest of my life i'm lying because that's not gonna happen right yeah so like why is it gonna like you're gonna have different problems in life that, that like require different politicians to like take care of it uh, you, exactly, and then some of these at certain times in your life, a politician is gonna be saying the right thing to you. Not that they're oh, yeah. even gonna do they're it. Gonna speak to you. They're, they're like, you have this problem. I can solve this problem, and it's like either like you know that's where like oh this is my my problem is bigger than like of the other party's problem kind of like in their mind. So it's like oh my my kind of shit is right. Always, yeah. That and yeah, that game is is not not changing. And but. Look, you know, when you're a person, when you're just an average citizen, I'm trying to be on. I, I'm trying to be the type who, I w who wouldn't want to overlook the best, the be the most honest solution or best solution. Uh, you know, to, to be aware, go okay. I'm voting for something selfishly. I understand the situation, but and that's okay to be honest and forth forthright. We live in a a, a world with a lot of people. And we got to share it with each other. Yeah, and. If it doesn't shake out, if I'm really losing some real, true, you know, freedoms and it's, it's, you know, it, it's a different thing with the Gaza, uh, uh, the Gaza Strip, the Palestine, it's a whole different thing than over here. So We're people, talking. People are afraid of losing something they don't have, right? So it's like, it's like they make such a big fuss out of like things, right? So they, they kind of like act like they they're gonna die if they don't don't, don't get their needs fulfilled like kind of and it, then they make it like extremist groups and shit yes that's how that happens yeah like somebody gotta overshoot like somebody gotta like oh finish line i'm not stopping there it's like oh, what is your point when here? when when, you, when you've been living especially i mean you're from communist germany i'm was born in california uh where you can't decide where you're born you have no say over where you're born you have no say over that. And then the, and then if you're living, which if you're in the land of the living, you, you know, you, you don't know who's in office. They come and they go. That's not really affecting your life uh, as more of like the personal decisions you make to go right or left at the right time. You got to be like conscious about everything. You can not like just like because if you're not conscious, your feelings going to take over. And then this whole world's gonna go downhill because, like, like animals fight like that. Yeah. Animals fight like that, dog. Like, 
a dog gets mad, bites another dog. That's like that's animal behavior. Like, I, we humans, we should like know better. We should, we should. We and we never will though, man. It, we never will. It's the same. We're on that same wheel, yep. like Game of Thrones or something. <laughs> it's like we're on Hunger Games. Like, it's Hunger yeah. Games. It's all that shit, man. When when you're from where you're from, I'm from where I'm from, and we ran it, we ran into each other twice. Or actually, ran into me two days ago. Yeah. And then, and then just na- just we just linked up. Yeah. yeah so it don't matter where you're from, man, and what the politics that are going on where you're from. You know, just it, gotta... it's it's if you connect, which most which people do in real life. You know, it'd be crazy if I go, who'd you vote for, you know, in the uh, part in the parliament and you in your in your oh, you vote for the, the Golden Dawn. Them the motherfuckers ain't cool and you ain't cool. Yeah. And, right. and, and I go and I voted for, yeah. I voted for, I, I voted for Trump, man. And and, and if I'm I, I got to live in fear saying that that make does that make me not cool well, to, to you? Does that make like, to, does that is that a thing where I'm like, not cool with you no more? Have I treated you with disrespect? Look, uh, I told you about like, one of my friends from San Antonio, right? Uh, so they voted for Trump too, and I'm I'm not cool with like like Trump being you, president, yeah, right? Yeah, you don't agree with that, okay? I don't agree with that, but like vote for whoever the fuck you want. Hey man, I couldn't have said it better myself, like, Jacob. I couldn't have said I, I couldn't have said it better myself, man. It and it's like if this country is going downhill, like. Just like it doesn't matter. Like people are gonna do whatever they want, anyways, right? So like, what am I like? I, I can like talk to people. I can like just present the facts, and I can like be like, okay, this is gonna eventually be the outcome for that. And it's and people can either like listen or not, or like you know, like if you yeah. change, if you wanna be changed, like listen. If you don't, people, many people like free you, but they don't listen. Yeah, yeah. No, I, uh, you're you're right, man. And um, that's yeah, that's what. This I'm doing this series. I started podding again, and the series is the slate. It's it's my it's night talk with Dino Arch. I've been doing this. I've been mm. picking up different set stories in the algorithm. Not really. It, they don't even have to be trending. Yeah. But I'll just some stuff will come across my my algorithm. I'm like that's fascinating. Like the Ukraine war when 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 that happened, I was like, man, I've never. You, I know Ukrainian size. I've never thought about Ukraine, and then. We America hates Russia, so it was like since before you were born, mm-hmm. like like the book 1984 or something. You just have to hate. You know, you know in every like kind of uh, American game, the bad guy is always the Russian. <laughs> See his goal. <laughs> you know, every other like Street Fighter game, they have like one motherfucker named Dragunov. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he just like he's just a bad, bad guy. He's the baddest guy. Yeah, he looks like surprisingly German, like all blonde and blue eyed. <laughs> I love it, man. Yeah, it's so racist. It's racist, <laughs> but if it's a it's a right it's a white Russian guy, so it's not racist, but it oh, is. Racist. Yeah. Racist, guess, like, <laughs> we invented that shit. So, you know, you be, like, the admins of the server, like man, like, talk like, heavy, man. So look, <laughs> yeah, because to me, racism is a sign of you like. Don't strike this piece. No, we're just talking. All we're doing is having a conversation. Yeah. There's nothing that I don't think we said anything out of line. We're not promoting racism. I only like know the guidelines from like people I watch. So like they be saying like, oh, don't say. Yeah, that. yeah, you gotta say. Shit. Yeah, you gotta say a whole bunch. I don't got a lot of, of viewers, man. So I'm on the I'm under the radar. So yeah. until they take like, that, like, and, and you you have to kind of like push the family friendly vibes a bit until you get up around that 10k mark and then it start like well you know i yeah yeah i understand not, not, that not like not just like keep it real but like not not talking crazy yeah you, talking watching crazy. the lingo yeah, yeah we're not yeah. cussing every other word or talking i don't talk crazy, about crazy. sex and i don't even talk about that man i'm 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 old. I don't care about. <laughs> I don't care about sure. that. I care about sure. money, and I care about the freedom to say, to say what you know is true yeah. at that moment. The truth will change with the information you get. But if you get certain information and you choose to ignore it to fit in, that's psycho- That's crazy. I don't. That's not me. So the fallout of this stupid election that I don't give really a shit about is the way humans have revealed themselves in groups that. 
where you were felt like in America is very like liberal. Are you liberal? Are you conservative? If you, it's two sides only. It's two sides only. And if you're black, it's only one side. Yeah. And so if you dare to think differently, you're all sorts of Uncle Tom seller, all of this stupid shit. It's all these fear tactics to stop you from seeing what you feel, what you go. This is true, man. This is just right in front of me. Now, I'm not saying that that truth absolves anybody else of their responsibility to, to treat people with respect. That has none, One thing has nothing to do with the other. Yeah. All I know is that you ain't shit and that you had me, so you think you had me on this plantation voting-wise or something and, so, and socially, like I have to belong to this group. And when I see the, this is how when you lose, this is how you act. When you lose, I'm all sorts of slaves. That's all that that it, when you lose, I'm a slave. All of a sudden you skipped all the other seasons and went straight to the OG. That shows me what it's like. That's not a, a group of people. that I, They own people, though. It is. That's what I'm saying. But they, they own people. Black you, people rage baiting black people. It, it is. You're right. You, and they were they did. They this is what's dominated the last uh three or four months so i'm gonna do my see i'm gonna do probably one more episode and i'm gonna get back to uh you know point out other fun things in life but i had to laugh at this and just call it out yeah. uh so yeah that's what this episode was about man the mass text i mean I'm, yeah that's bad if that it hurt some it got to some junior high kids so there might be some innocent kids but we were trolls when i was in junior high i was a i was a menace yeah. i was a good guy or whatever in real life but online i was a demon Dude, this I was is a like, troll. Dude, that's the worst part. <laughs> I'm not saying, bro. We cool, right? We cool, you right? talk crazy. I know you got cool, some right? bad shit that you said online. Bro. I'm not mad at you, man. Hey. I'm not mad at you. To be honest, hey, hey, hey. I always hated being a bitch online because I thought there was no courage behind it. It's like I could write anything. I could, like. You were a troll. No, I, I never like. I never like. Oh, you you weren't a troll. I never, never. Oh, you. Never, were, oh, never, good for you, man. Never, never like spam the N word anywhere, bro. Okay, yeah. Well, like, see, no, like, see, that's like to me, that's that's different than a troll. Like a troll. That's rage bait. Like, that's rage bait. I'm talking about nuanced, funny tro trolling. For example, when a AOL came out in the '90s, that was the original social media. Yeah. AOL. So it was dial up. You had to have a phone line and do it and make a sound. And now you're on the Internet and you have groups oh, yeah. that you could get in. And me and my boy, Matt Mendez, he was Puerto Rican, half Puerto Rican, and half Irish. We had a group together called DC 209 Boys, the Dirty Cuban. That was our name. Dirty <laughs> Cuban. So already we were we were punks. Yeah. Now, we was good guys in real life. We never would, would hurt a fly. We had, you know, friends of all races everyone loved it was it was all love but online <laughs> man we it's it, it, something about it brought out brings out the troll in you so i would go at black people but i'd act like i was white and then he would talk about latins and he'd act like you know he was a different way so and we would so it was our own people you were part of the problem i was the game. problem man that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> I was, but I never said the no, n word. I never word. said the n word. I said like other races. Motherfucker, that's just like the easiest thing you could have said. You could have get away with. Like, but that's lazy. But, but that's lazy, man. That's stupid. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah, right. not. Like, that's like, what they do. Yeah, white guy saying the n word is like clearly a black crown. It's like that's lazy. That ain't. That don't hurt. That don't hurt. You see the crown in the in the in the in the bio, right? You see that? Dude, yeah, like, that, that's no. Yeah, that ain't nothing, man. I'm talking about. You know, funny deep cuts and stupid. It was all done. It was childish, but yeah, we we did it for a summer. We were like, yo, man, we got it. Got dark. It was funny, and we put it away. And that's, but it came from us. That's the whole point. And so I know that. And we went. We weren't raised bait. We were immature. These are grown ass adults using just having a temper tantrum because yeah. they lost. Yeah, and, you know, like the Wujacks, you know, like the faces, the Reddit faces online. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, YouTube know what I'm talking about. Like the Wu Jack faces, these are oh, like okay. representation, like, like the guy crying behind the uh, the mask. Oh kinda. yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. These are like like ironic personifications of like kind of like character types of incels. Yeah, most of all, like they have even like different names. It's like oh, I don't know. I what don't they, know, like what colors they, and shit. I don't, man. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know these guys, but I'm like, I'm, 
I'm sure they, I know that I do know that mentality because we were trolls. They, we just stopped doing it. Those guys kept doing it. And if you keep living in that vibration, obviously you're not. You're never going to move all your parents' faces. Nah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're, you're in make, a, Like facial hair, but like barely. Yeah, you yeah, you got lost in yeah, the in, in the loop. Yeah. yeah, you're not, you know, uh, you're not out there really doing this. So, yeah, that, that this is me putting out a, uh, for whoever sees this, so they can, you know, know that they don't got to fear. You know what I'm saying? And think like, oh, hold on to this and feel like, oh, man. You know this. I don't think so. At least I'm just giving my my take on it. If I, as a detective, yeah. I go, this is this is cap, man. Don't let this scare you from from. Don't let this shake you back onto the plantation. That's what this shit is about. Don't let them do that. Yeah. How about that? Don't let don't let this thing. They're gonna do more shit like this until someone come up and put their hands on you. That's a whole different thing, man. But don't let this shit shake you, man. Hey. Uh-